dear student today i am going to take the uh, concept of the associative memory so this topic belongs to the the computer architecture okay so first what is the um, associative memory so the associative memory is also called as a uh, content addressable memory that means uh, the content uh, we are um, uh, searching the content um, uh, here the associative memory is used to search the content rather than uh, the specific address in a traditional computer mostly uh, specifying the memory address and searching it but in the case of associative memory uh, it take a, a data uh, it find a data based on the content so that's why this is called as a content addressable memory uh, in the content addressable memory uh, first it consists of a argument register then the key register the, then the associative memory or um, array array and logic uh, then the, here the match register is available finally we get the output okay so uh, here the first what is the uh, first thing is associative memory uh, this is the associative memory first thing so it consists of a m bits that means its length is a m bit each bit consists of a n um, m m words uh, and each uh, each words consists of a n bits okay so um, here we are giving the argument or query into the argument register it will move to the associative memory uh, here the associative memory find whether the data is exist or not if it is found means match register find the matching okay uh, i will explain later uh, here the uh, argue uh, already i told you argument register and key uh, key register both have n bits each uh, the match register m consists of m uh, m bits for each memory word uh, here the words which are kept in memory are compared in parallel so in the argue uh, with the content of the argument register so uh, uh, the content is uh, derived from the argument register it parallelly uh, parallel means um, uh, simultaneously access the uh, storage okay so the key register provide mask uh, it provide mask for choosing a particular field or key in the argument uh, word then so this is the uh, one of the diagram uh, here the i a is the argument the argument means um, uh, so it's a query or a pattern uh, to be searched then the key register assigning a key to search the argument so this is the content uh, so the uh, this is a content addressable memory or associative memory it consists of a content so here uh, this will be searched in a parallel if it is match the match register find the words finally it will be written uh, 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 written in the form of uh, matching okay uh, then here the content based access the associative memory allow you to search for data providing a pattern uh, that means uh, yeah, a query rather than specific memory address already i told you so we are taking a yeah, one data for example nowadays uh, we are searching the um, uh, searching the uh, content uh, you uh, in the uh, google uh, but uh, this is a uh, totally different from uh, the google is a uh, uh, working in the form of internet but here the associative memory find the content using the uh, inside the system uh, not uh, in, in the internet okay the memory system compare the query to the stored data and re uh, return the matching in the content okay then the parallel search the associative uh, the main advantage of the associative memory it is used uh, for searching the content in a parallel manner okay so um, moreover uh, uh, it can search through multiple memory locations simultaneously which can result faster data retrieval so that's why we can uh, retrieve the data uh, very fastly okay uh, and then the application so uh, in which place it will be uh, applied okay so here the database uh, searching the uh, uh, this is the one of the example network router for ip address lookup database for searching record and catch memory for quickly finding the data that matches the specific content this is the one of the example for the application 
implementation so in implementation it can uh, the um, content addressable memory consists of a static ram uh, static ram cells uh, each uh, static um, uh, cell store a data word and associated com comparison circuitry okay when a query is applied all stored words are compared simultaneously so uh, if we use the pattern or query it will be uh, compared uh, simultaneously and matching words are returned okay so tag memory so this memory is exist in the cache memory uh, it will consist of a uh, some um, uh, uh, data uh, the data is a data within another one data meta data means data within another one data so uh, if you give the query or uh, pattern it will search whether the data is exist in the cache memory or not okay then Uh, the trade off it, uh, it it typically consume more power and space than traditional memory system but it's a complex to implement um, the big uh, uh, <coughs> so th that's why we are not applied in a uh, primary memory okay so content matching so content matching means uh, first the query is passed in, in uh, into the argument register if it is uh, exist in the storage co computer storage then the matching will occur the match register will return the result okay so uh, this is a content matching uh, associative memory is a valuable tool in computer architecture when it come to application that require fast content based searches so it's applicable to the fast content based Uh, searches but in the uh, it's not applied into the primary uh, it's not a um, uh, yeah, it's not equal or uh, it's not a, um, um, the memory like a primary memory so that's why uh, this is a there is a some limitation exist in the associative memory already we saw that match logic if the uh, query or pattern is matched in the uh, computer uh, storage then uh, the match logic will return the uh, a group of words so that is called as a match logic okay okay dear student today we, uh, um, i took the uh, today i take the topic as the uh, associative memory or content addressable memory if you have any kind of doubt please kindly give the uh, your uh, queries or uh, doubts in, in, into the comment section i will uh, explain in, in a clear cut manner thank you student